Welcome to math class. Today we are on ratios, lesson number nine, where we are going to determine the better buy. We're going to take the things that we learned about finding a unit rate from lesson eight and put that to use today by determining the better buy. So our learning target is the same, being able to describe a unit rate and solve unit rate problems. So let's start out reviewing a little bit, making sure we remember how to find that unit rate which is just a ratio. We get it by using division um, and we scale down to one. So let's start with this problem right here. For eight books, you spend $19.20. How much do you pay per book? So let's say, set that up, that we spend $19.20 for eight books. How much do I spend for one book? So this is just a division problem where I'm going to scale it down from eight books to one book. So it's $19.20 divided by eight. And if you do that math correctly, you get $2.40 per book. So that right there would be the unit rate, $2.40 for one book. Okay, let's review some more over here. You buy 12 pencils for $15.36. How much does each pencil cost? So we have $15.36 for 12 pencils. I want to know how much I would pay per one pencil. Pencil. So again, I'm going to divide 15.36 divided by 12 to get to one. So if I do that correctly, I'm gonna get $1.25 per pencil. So again, how do I get from 12 pencils to one pencil? I divide it by 12. So I would do the same thing up at the top. And this right here is a division problem anyway. It means $15.36 divided by 12. So my unit rate is that right there, $1.25 per pencil. Okay, try this one on your own. Put the video on pause, read through it, and see if you can do this one by yourself. Okay, you pay $88.50 for six t-shirts. How much will four t-shirts cost? So this one I'm going to have to actually do in two steps. I'm going to have to find the unit rate to get down to one, and then I'm going to have to scale it back up to get to four. So I'm going to do 88.50 divided by six to find out how much for one shirt. So 88.50 divided by six is $14.75 for one shirt. So there's my unit rate, but the question's actually asking me how much will four shirts cost. So now I'm gonna need to take that 1475 and times it by four so that I can get what actually four shirts cost. And if you do that correctly, you get $59. So four shirts would cost you $59. Okay, again, try this one on your own and then come back and check it. So a dozen oranges cost $7.80. How much will it cost to buy eight oranges? So it's $7.80 for a dozen, which is 12. I want to know how much it costs for eight oranges. So I'm going to scale it down to one. I'm going to find the unit rate, and then I'm going to need to scale it back up to get eight. So if I want to know how much for one orange, I'm going to divide $7.80 divided by 12 is 65 cents. So it's 65 cents per orange. Now I need to find how much is it for eight oranges. So I'm going to get from one to eight. I'm going to have to take that unit rate and multiply it by eight. So I'm going to do that to 65 cents as well and I get $5.20. So the question was, how much will it cost to buy eight oranges? It will cost $5.20 to buy eight oranges. All right, let's get into our better buy. 
So right here, you're going to find a video. You're going to want to put this on pause and on your uh, slideshow that you have open. You're going to definitely want to listen to this song. Um, it's, it's pretty epic. So this is the, the sixth grade teacher fellows who wrote this song at a conference that we were at that tells us about unit rates and finding better buys and how to find that. So pause my video and on your slideshow that you have open, go ahead and hit play and listen to that video, that song. It's pretty cool. All right, so now that you know that cheap waffles are your destiny and we want to use unit rates to find better buys, let's do that. So Grocery Mart sells a seven pound bag of potatoes for $11.55 and Town Market sells a 15 pound bag for $23.25. Which store has the better buy on potatoes and by how much? So let's set up our rate where it is $11.55 for seven pounds. And then let's find the unit rate. So we're going to divide by seven to find how much it is per pound. So $11.55 divided by seven is $1.65. So the unit rate, this store, Grocery Mart, sells potatoes for $1.65 a pound. Let's see what Town Market does. They do $23.25 for 15 pound bags. So let's find how much it is for a one pound bag. We're gonna do $23.25 divided by 15 and we get $1.55 per pound. So it looks like that is going to be my better buy because it is only costing me $1.55 for one pound of potatoes, where Grocery Mart is $1.65. So which store has the better buy? Town Market has the better buy. And then it asked me buy how much. So we don't wanna just say buy 10 cents because it's 10 cents per pound cheaper. So we want to make sure that when we write our answer by how much, we write that it is 10 cents per pound cheaper, not just 10 cents, okay? Because it depends on how many pounds you buy, how much less money you'll pay. It's only if you buy one pound that it's 10 cents cheaper. It is 10 cents per pound cheaper at town market. Okay, let's try another one. The bakery sells 12 donuts for $12.68 or 15 donuts for $14.25, which is the better buy and buy how much? So $12.68 for 12 donuts or $14.25 for 15 donuts. So let's divide to get to one because that's what we do with unit rates. Find unit rates, divide to get to one. So we're going to do 1268 divided by 12 and see how much it is per donut. Looks like it's about a dollar and we're going to round up and six cents. So I'm going to use my little symbol like this. That means about because I'm having to round. It was 1.05666666. So we're going to round up to a dollar six and then 1425. For 15 donuts, so 14.25 divided by 15 is 95 cents. So obviously the better buy is this one right here, the 15 donuts for 14.25. By how much? We just found out how much is the cost per donut. So when we write by how much, we want to make sure we use the words per donut in there. So the difference is 11 cents. So by how much? It is a better buy by 11 cents per donut. So we've answered both parts of that question now, that the 15 donuts for 14.25 is the better buy by 11 cents per donut. All right, Dustin needed to fill his truck up with gas. At Carl's Car Care, it costs $39.20 for 16 gallons of gas, and at Tim's Travel Stop, it costs $41.76 for 18 gallons. Which gas station has the best deal on gas and how much cheaper is it? Go ahead and pause the video and you give this a try on your own and then come back and check your answer. 
All right, so we have 16 gallons of gas for 39.20. And over here we have 41.76 for 18 gallons of gas. So we're gonna find unit rates, the cost per gallon, divide to get to one. So 39.20 divided by 16 gives me a cost of $2.45 for one gallon of gas. And the second store, 41.76 divided by 18, gives me a cost of $2.32 per gallon of gas. So which store has the better deal on gas? It looks like this store, so Tim's Travel Stop. If I had room, I would write that all out, but I don't, so I'm, go I'm just gonna circle it there. So Tim's Travel Stop has the best buy on gas. How much cheaper is it? And remember, we found the cost per gallon, so we wanna make sure we use the words per gallon when we say how much cheaper it is. So it looks like 245 minus 232 would be 13 cents. So it is 13 cents cheaper per gallon of gas, 13 cents per gallon cheaper. Okay, Fresh Family Market sells apples a dozen for $7.44 and oranges 15 for $10.50. Which is the better buy? So go ahead and pause it, try it on your own, and then come back and check your answer. All right, a dozen for $7.44. So that would be for 12. So we wanna find how much it is for one. We're gonna find the cost per orange. And over here, oh, whoops, that was apples. So let's get that right. And over here we have 15 oranges for $10.50. Okay, let's find the unit rate, divide to get to one. So $7.44 divided by 12 gives me 62 cents per apple and $10.50 divided by 15 oranges gives me 70 cents per orange. Oh, I ran out of space there. It says orange. Okay, so it looks like apples are cheaper to buy because it's 62 cents for one apple and 70 cents for an orange. So the better buy would be the apples. How much would it cost to buy six apples and six oranges? So to buy six of them, I'm going to multiply this by six so that I can get six apples and I'm going to do the same thing to my oranges. So 62 cents times six is $3.72 for apples. And 70 cents times six is gonna be $4.20 for oranges. If we add those two up, we get a total of $7.92 to buy six apples and six oranges. So again, we scaled down to get to one to find the unit rate and then scaled back up to find the number that we needed to see. All right, that's all there is to deciding the better buy. Find the unit rate, divide to get to one, and then compare the two and you save. So good luck on your assignment today.